What is up guys? It's your boy Richard Cactus here and today we have the God Roll Guide on the Empty Vessel Legendary Energy Grenade Launcher. This was added to Destiny 2 with Season of the Splicer and this is a new Vanguard weapon meaning it has a chance to drop from end of strike chests. So this thing is not only hard to get but also very hard to get a good roll for. However, with that being said, it is still a weapon you absolutely want to know about and want to try to acquire because it has some unique factors that make it really, really powerful. First and foremost, this is the only non-sunset solar special grenade launcher in the entire game. Now, why does that matter? Well, that means this thing can produce war mine cells like you're seeing in the background gameplay. And it's able to do that with the use of this mod here, Wrath of Rasputin. Solar splash damage, which because this is a grenade launcher make up for almost all of its final blows, have a chance to spawn war mine cells. Simply put on this mod and then combine it with something like Rage of the Warmind to cause those Warmind cells to deal more solar damage. So shooting a Warmind cell can spawn more Warmind cells and throw on a Global Reach mod. And you've got a pretty amazing functioning Warmind cell build right there. But you really don't need that. All you really need is Wrath of Rasputin to start the Warmind cells spawning. And unlike the Seasonal Artifact mod, which causes void splash damage to spawn Warmind cells, this mod isn't going anywhere. So being able to utilize a great grenade launcher in your Warmind cell build is really darn powerful. That's why you want this weapon. Let's talk about what you're looking for. So, first off, we have the normal assortment of grenade launcher barrels, and in recommending which one to go for, it's really a balancing act between blast radius and velocity. Frankly, you want both, and as much of both as you can get, because blast radius is going to be great in both PvP and PvE, just being able to spread out that damage more, letting you shoot beside an enemy and not only do more damage to that enemy, but in some cases damage that enemy, where as otherwise you wouldn't, but velocity is also really important. It's going to make hitting your enemies much easier because the time to target is faster and it's going to work very well with something uh, like spike grenades in PvE for more damage. So something like quick launch is pretty desirable because that gives plus 10 to the velocity and only decreases the handling. But if you want to specialize in one stat or the other, Volatile Launch will give you the best blast radius with a slight decrease to velocity, and the opposite is true for Hard Launch. But moving on from there into the second tier perk category, firstly we have Spell. Bike grenades. This is going to give you more damage for a direct hit. This is absolutely phenomenal and this is one of the best perks you're looking for on any grenade launcher. We then do have blind grenades and these definitely have their uses, especially in PvE, being able to blind powerful enemies and then deal with them in other ways is pretty good. Now proximity grenades are going to let you potentially miss a target but still get that explosion. It's not going to guarantee a one hit kill on PvP but some people still really like them for the consistency and that's really the three I would be going for in this category. Moving on from there to the first main perk slot. Starting us off we have Feeding Frenzy. Now this can definitely be good with this type of grenade launcher. You're going to be reloading a lot because you only have one shot in the magazine but this is definitely more of a PvE. E perk. We then have Autoling Holster. That can be good in both aspects of the game, being able to shoot the weapon and then just switch to another weapon and by the time you switch back, hopefully it's reloaded. Threat Detector can increase the reload speed and similar to Feeding Frenzy, but I don't think Threat Detector is that desirable. Ambitious Assassin is fantastic. A single kill will let this weapon have two rounds in a magazine and I mean that's basically doubling it. That is doubling it. It matters quite a bit. Quick draw has been nerfed, but is still decent in PvP. Surplus is an interesting one simply for the reload speed increase and stat boosts for PvP. I don't think Genesis is that good. Then we've got Lead from Gold, which is okay at best. And Field Prep, which can be decent if you're crouching all the time to get that reload speed increase and the inventory size increase. 
and I'm not sure I like Underdog. Now, in that second category, we do have Vorpal Weapon. This is going to increase damage against bosses, vehicles, and guardians with their super active. This is great in a lot of aspects of the game, especially if you're going for like just the highest damage per shot in PvE. Disruption Break can be a really interesting one. Break a shield and get a boost to kinetic damage. We have multi kill clip actually here. So if you're going off, especially in PvE, this is where this is going to be at its best and getting multi kills on, you know, multiple enemies with one shot of a group of red bars and you can start activating multi kill clip, your damage is going to increase quite a bit. Demolitionist is a really interesting one because not only is it going to get you your grenade back faster, but it lets you throw a grenade and instantly refill your magazine. Again, with a weapon where you're reloading so much, being able to shoot, throw, and shoot right again is pretty powerful. Swashbuckler is going to give you a consistent damage increase simply for getting kills. One for All is actually a new one. We don't usually see One for All on grenade launchers being able to just get a triple kill, not even a triple kill, just hit three enemies with a grenade launcher shot and then get a 35% damage increase for quite a while. This might actually be even more consistent of a good damage increase than multi-kill clip. After that, we have Thresh, increase your super energy gains with kills, unrelenting, heal yourself for kills, then we've got snapshot sights, aim down sights faster, and lastly, a new one, danger zone. The blast radius of this weapon increases when surrounded by combatants. Okay, so what are you going for for firstly a PvP god roll? Well, first off, it depends on if you want to go for spike grenades, potentially get those one-hit kills, then you want as much velocity as possible from something like hard launch. Or if you want to go for proximity grenades for that consistency, as you can see, it decreases the blast radius, so you want to get it back up with something like volatile launch. Moving on from there, there's a lot of perks to choose from. Frankly, I think the best for PvP are going to be quick jaw to just swap your weapon right away, get a shot off, or potentially auto-loading holster, just be able to shoot and switch off to finish off an enemy, which is a common practice with grenade launchers, and then being able to switch back, have it automatically reloaded is obviously quite powerful. Then in that second category, you could go for something like Vorpal Weapon for more damage against supers, that is absolutely going to come up, but Disruption Break is actually a pretty dirty combo, rip away a Guardian Shield and then be able to do more damage with whatever your kinetic primary is, that has definitely been used against me in the Crucible many a time, but also a pretty consistent damage boost from something like Swashbuckler or even Multi Kill Clip, you just need one kill with multi kill clip to give you a damage increase and then you can start you know maybe missing a bit but still getting that one hit kill but overall what i would prefer is hard launch then spike grenades then probably auto loading holster or quick jaw combined with disruption break for just a dirty and a good pvp grenade launcher now for pve what you're definitely going for here is spike grenades like you absolutely need spike grenades because you really want to guarantee that increase to damage it really matters in pve now potentially you can go for blinding grenades if you're specifically looking for a blinding gl but i'm mainly going for spikes then in that second category i think ambitious assassin is a really fantastic and consistent choice for grenade launcher if i can't get that it's going to be something like auto loading holster or potentially feeding frenzy now after that i think you're going for vorpal weapon definitely is a top tier choice but if you want a perk that's going to be active much more often than just against bosses you're probably going for one for all. I feel like this is going to be the most consistent damage increase, beating out stuff like Swashbuckler, which takes quite a few kills to activate, or Multi-Kill Clip. Now, Swashbuckler, yes, you can activate instantly by getting a melee kill, but if you're using a grenade launcher, the last thing you want is to be in melee kill distance. You want to keep some space between you and the enemies, which is why I also think that something like Danger Zone hasn't worked out that well, at least in my experience. I don't want the blast radius massively increased when there's a bunch of enemies in my face. I'm just going to kill myself. So again, one for all is going to be an extremely consistent and easy to activate damage boost that's going to come up quite a bit. 
But one last role I'm going to mention is the combination of something like Ambitious Assassin plus Demolitionist. Simply for the sheer volume of fire you can get out. Shoot two with Ambitious Assassin, throw a grenade and shoot another one right away because of Demolitionist. That is a lot of damage in a very short period of time. And so guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at RickCacus. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.